the Alabama Farmers Federation and the Alabama Farmers Cooperative proudly present Simply Southern with your hosts, Jim Allen and Mary John. Hello and welcome to Simply Southern. I'm Mary John. And I'm Jim Allen. The farm to fork movement is an extremely popular trend, but did you ever think a farm to fork dinner could more than double the population of a town? Well, that's exactly what happens when the founders of 1818 Farms host their semi-annual sit-down meal in Mooresville. Come along with us as we visit this town that's older than the state. Just a mile off Interstate 565 in Limestone County, you'll find the idyllic town of Mooresville, Alabama. The city center is home to the Stagecoach Inn and Tavern, Post Office, and Brick Church, all built before the 1850s. Mooresville's narrow streets are lined with towering trees and cozy colonial style homes, a treat for any visitors venturing off the main road. They have no clue just what's right off, off the interstate and when they do come, they're almost taken back into time of, of how the town has been able to preserve uh, the homes as well as our historic buildings and then also incorporate our newer homes with the same feel uh, that our older homes have. Although the city's population sits around just 60, more and more people are finding out about this small town thanks to an agritourism attraction founded by the McCrary family. It's called 1818 Farms, and the farm name is an homage to the town's history. The town of Mooresville was incorporated in the year 1818, and Alabama didn't become a state till the year 1819. Um, our children are the sixth generation to live in our home here. And so when we were naming the farm, we wanted to have uh, a significant to our history of not only our families being here, but also to the town. Natasha started with growing flowers to sell at farmer's markets and to use in a line of beauty and personal care products. Then they added animals, baby doll breed sheep, hens, pigs, and goats. And all those animals are prominently featured on their product labels. We started making a soap and then the lip balm and people loved it and it took off and now we are in around 400 stores in the United States. The fun part of it is each of the animals that you'll see here today, my mother-in-law does a beautiful pencil sketch and they're kind of the cover guy or the cover girl for each of the products. The animals are also some of the stars of the show when 1818 Farms hosts events like its farm to fork dinners held annually in June and September with Chef Jacob Reed. This is kind of just like my zen moment because you're in nature, you're cooking from things that came right out of this area, so it's amazing. And you get to kind of teach people the importance of sourcing locally, the importance of good quality food, and it's a way to connect with the community. With 80 tickets available, the event more than doubles the population of Mooresville. The dinners often sell out months in advance, long before the menu is even set. It kind of drives people crazy when they come to these dinner. They want to know what's the menu. Well, a lot of times we don't know what the menu is until two days before because it depends on what you can find at the farmer's market. So um, until tonight, I really didn't know what was on the menu. So that's the interesting part of it. But you'll love Jake and um, the spin that he takes on doing a southern cuisine but with a cosmopolitan flair. The mouth-watering menu featured five courses, including tomato pies, pork chops, strawberry grilled cheese, and deviled eggs, courtesy of the hens at 1818 Farms. But the evening was just as much a treat for the eyes as it was for the taste buds, thanks to the 1818 Farms vintage flower truck, a restored baby blue 1965 Ford F100. It's been a huge hit. You know, flowers evoke a lot of emotions for people. They bring memories. They're one of those things that you remember when you receive flowers. A lot of flowers like dahlias do not ship well, like the sol there's celosias, zinnias, there's things that we can grow that really you can't get from a, a wholesale grower because of the shipping. So we try and also offer things that people might be of interest, but you can't really find anywhere else. And that's the heart of 1818 Farms' success, providing unique products and events that are tough to find elsewhere. Really, it's like stepping back in time and giving people the chance to come and, and see a house from the 1800s and you know you don't have to go to Williamsburg you can come just right here in Alabama and experience the same types of events. 1818 Farms hosts a lot more than just the farm to table dinners from yoga retreats to bouquet making and photography workshops so you can book an event through the farms website which is 1818farms.com.
And if you want to see more of the city of Mooresville, they host a progressive dinner every December. It's a very good, fun holiday event.